Sunday and album time again. Started up with this man, Rocky Burnett, from Memphis, USA. The son of rock and roll. This album is a great, great, great rock album. And uh, it was released 1979. And it was a pretty huge hit in this one. You see the first there, Tire of Two in the Line. Uh, I had forgot about the song until I played the album and it's really a great, great song. Uh, but the whole album is great. And uh, Rocky's real name is Jonathan and he was the son to Johnny Burnett, the rockabilly and pop singer. Great album. For sure you should check that one out. Next up. Something amazing. Look at this cover. Lionheart. Second Nature. Uh, this band is from England. And a lot of famous name in the band. This album was released 2017. It's at Gold Vinyl. And it means so much to me because I get it a month ago from my daughters as a birthday gift. They always come up with good birthday gifts. Uh, they was first um, formed sometime around the start of the 80s. The first release was uh, 1984 Hot Tonight. They split up 1986. But the reunion 2016 and this is the result of that. After this it has come two more albums. One of them was not so many months ago. Uh, it includes uh, Dennis Stratton from Iron Maiden. Man and Newton is also from the original lineup. And the singer Lee has been singing with Shy. And the drummer Clive Edwards has drumming with uh, UFO and Wild Horses. Even the Judas Priest drummer that played with Judas, Les Binks, 77 to 79, has been one of the past members. It's a great fold out with a lot of photos. It's uh, the, the whole album is just awesome. Not a single track that are okay. Every track is great, great, great. And let us see at the back we have this amazing sleeve again. Amazing. What a tattoo this one should be. I love the sleeve. I really do. One of the most beautiful sleeves I've seen, I guess. But that's Lionheart. And check out the song in my description. We ended this episode with a real classic. Second time we have Motorhead in the series and the album Overkill. Released 1979. And their second studio release. The first one... They were signed to Bronze Records. And it's just a fantastic album for sure. The cover artist Joe Pitagno has been a little disappointed about this work because it should be so much more. But uh, they don't find him in time. So we only have one and a half week to do something. But I think it's really, really a great, great cover for sure. And the classic title track, uh, Phil Taylor, Animal, the drummer. He has said he had always want to play with two bass drums. But he don't want to be one of these wankers that get up on stage and have two bass drums and don't ever fucking play them. That is his own words. So he wait with that until he could play them. 
and he was always a couple of hours in the, the uh, rehearsal place before Eddie and Lemmy just to practice double bass and uh, one day Lemmy and Eddie shows up and he just uh, practicing the beat that is in overkill and he should stop and uh, yeah they should practice but when he do that Lemmy and Eddie say no 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 go on with that go on and he started again and that is how the song Overkill was born. So, um, yeah, Phil is such an underrated drummer. There we have Lemmy, and he, up here we have Phil and Fast Eddie. Uh, an amazing album, just a legendary album for sure. Check it out, and as usual, you find songs in my description. I should have a kiss cover uh, last evening here, but the, the editing is not ready yet. So I guess it will come up next weekend, but it be a great famous song this time. And just wait, it, it will come. It's recorded and clear and the editing has started, but Henke don't get it in time this time. He always do such an amazing serious work at the sound and videos okay see you my friends